Let's create a bootable USB flash drive for Ubuntu 22.04. So the first thing that we're going to need is a USB flash drive, which I already have over here. Make sure that it's big enough. Every modern one is probably big enough, but make sure that it has at least, say, 4 gigabytes. Anyway, this one has way more than this, so we're good in this regard, so let's move on. The next thing that we're going to do is open a web browser and head over to ubuntu.com. And from here we can choose download. And if you intend to use Ubuntu as your desktop operating system, we probably want the option under Ubuntu desktop. Now at this time there is only one option over here, which is 22.04 LTS. If you watch this video sometime in the future, you may see a second option, maybe 22.10 or 23.04. But these versions are not going to have LTS next to them. LTS means long-term support, and the long-term support versions are the ones that are supported for the longest. So for most people, the LTS version is probably the one you want to go with, and that's what I'm going to choose. And we need to wait for a second, and the download starts. It's a big file, over 3 gigabytes, but I already downloaded it, so I'll cancel this download, because I already have it in my downloads folder. Here it is. The next thing that we're going to do is head over to rufus.ie. Rufus is the program that we're going to use to flash the ISO file to the USB flash drive. This one is a really small download, so let's just go ahead and download it. So the current version is 3.18, but if you watch this video sometime in the future, there might be a newer one. Okay, Rufus was downloaded. So we now have both the ISO file and rufus.exe. Let's start Rufus. And notice how now this drop-down box is empty, it doesn't contain anything. But once I'll plug in the USB flash drive, This box is updated, and we can now see our USB flash drive over here. Generally speaking, Rufus will only show you removable storage devices, so you don't end up with your entire hard disk wiped out. So in my case, it is the SanDisk USB flash drive that I want to use, so I'll choose it. And now we need to select the ISO file. So it is in the Downloads folder, and let's choose it. And we can leave everything else as it is, and just click on Start. And again, I'm going to go with the first option, which is the default one, and click on OK. And I'm being warned that everything on the USB flash drive will be destroyed, so make sure that you don't have anything important there, and click on OK. So the USB flash drive is being formatted, and then all of the necessary files are being copied over. And it's done, let's close Rufus. And we can see that the USB flash drive was renamed to Ubuntu 22, and it is ready. We can now restart the computer and boot right from it.